What's going on guys? Adam Luce here. Welcome back to another video moving weight fishing and today we are still in New Hampshire. It is day five and we got all the New Hampshire boys. We got Peter, we got Frankie, and we got Eli. And we are on Frank and Eli's rig today. The Kiska B2, such a sick boat. But we're commercial lobstering. Let's just dive right into the video. about a haul trap catching lobsters Pick up one of the small ones, let me see them. So they call these, these are main lobsters, they call them New Hampshire lobsters here because we're in New Hampshire. How big do they have to be to keep? Uh, I think two, two and a quarter to keep, right? Three and a quarter. Three and a quarter. So this is how you tell if a lobster is a male or a female. You follow its flipperettes up, and these two little, I think they're called carapace. These are hard. Let me see if there's a female in here. There's a female right here. So that's a male right there, the two hard ones. That's a female. See the two little flippers? Are you allowed to keep females? Yes, you are. Unless it has a notch in either one of these, uh, the left, sorry, the right flipper. It has one in that one. Peter has been doing this commercially for a while now, but today we're just doing it for fun, just pulling some traps, recreational purposes, you know us. The boys just set some before I came because I asked them to, and then we get some footage of lobster for you guys, so drop a like on the video right now. Did we get any keepers? No, none in that one. And then after that, the boys got to bait the trap back up, send it back down. Look at that male. Oh, that's a female. Oh, that's a nice one. See how its fins messed up, though? What well, is that? Because he's that's a, that's, that's a female. See how it's got the wide tail on it and the so you small. You can't keep him. That is not a keeper lobster. It can't have any imperfections in its tail. Is he gonna turn around and give me the one two? Let him go. See you, bud. So, how many traps do you have on one of these buoys? Four. There's a buoy on either end of it. It's called a crawl. Crawl. That's a rock crab. Jonah crab. Good eats? Good eats, but not that size. Eat. <laughs> you eat that thing. <laughs> so the boys got the process going. Eli's pulling them in on, what's this thing called again, Eli? A hauler. A hauler. Hydraulically run. And then Petey's checking the trap, seeing what's legal, what's not. And then Frankie's baiting them back up and sending them back out. So that looks like a keeper. It's gonna come off the bottom a little bit. What what not, Star? Right see. there, that oh, bead. Oh, okay, right there. That's why you can't keep them? Can't keep them. What's the season? What's the season on these lobsters? Is there a season? No, it's year round. Year round? Yeah. Damn. Guys who do it in the wintertime go hard. Frank, here's your bait bag. 
There you go. Dude, there's a huge one in there. Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. I can't believe how lucky you guys are getting. Malus, he's got the luck of a really good guy. Look at that. Thing. Holy crap. How, how big is that? Is that like jumbo jumbo? That's not a jumbo jumbo, that's probably a three, four pounder. How, but, much you dude, sell, how much would you be selling that lobster for? In the restaurant, that's probably right around like a $45 lobster. Wow. $35 lobster. You're grubbing on that thing later. I don't, it might be oversized. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, this, keep... If this is over seven inches long, which I think it is. You're talking about recreational? No, commercial or rec. What? If this is over seven inches, it's not a keeper. It has to be given so back. So they have to be, what, three and a half and yeah. between seven inches? I don't think them? this is a keeper, though. So there's a slot on lobster. Yes. That's crazy. At least back home in Florida, spiny lobster, it's I think it's three, three and a half inches, same thing. But anything over that too, that you're allowed to keep, you know. And then they just got filled up on little ones here. That one looks. Suspect. But you can tell right here, you got them by the fork right here. You see all the. Yeah, it doesn't fit behind. I think we should just... Exactly. I think we should. It's over, it's, the shell's over five inches long, so it's not a keeper. I said seven, I meant to say five. Oh, okay. So if this That's is over easy. five inches long, it's not a keeper. This is just over five inches long. So we're gonna punch its uh, menu. So. What does that do? Now if another lobsterman catches it, it can't keep it, but it couldn't be kept either way. But even out, now if this lobster goes 20 miles offshore, it can't be kept. Don't go. Just let that giant go. Sinking down back deep. Took a couple pictures with him. How deep are we, by the way? How you, how deep are you usually setting traps? Anywhere? 60 feet. 60? Wow, that's pretty deep. I right know the lobsters are pushing off the beach. They come inside to shed. You catch them in the mud and they're up shallow. The lobsters go up in the rocks to harden up, so then they'll start moving back offshore. They call it the fall crawl. Do they crawl at all like during like storms and stuff? Like spiny lobster do. During storms? Yeah, like when it blows super hard, you get a hurricane, they're all crawling on the beach. It's crazy. People whack them. It's really cool. Is that when those people go out? Yeah, and whack them. All right, so they just picked up their four trap trawl and they baited all of them again. Now they got to throw it back out. How often they'll tell you check your traps? When did you set these? Uh, we set these ones two days ago, but we are tuna fishing, so that's how we come back. Normally it's every day. Oh, really? Yeah. 24 hour soaks organically. All right, so that's a pretty cool process. Never seen anything like that. Pete. Mark. Question for you. Yes, sir. I was just asking Frankie. You guys did a couple passes on that before you dropped them back off. You said it's important. You gotta make sure you're not dropping on someone else's trawls. So you can see from the, these high flyer buoys, I'll have Eli drive by one here in a minute. Eli, drive by a high flyer or just like a a bigger buoy if you can. Talk. Eli's gonna drive by a high flyer, but we're always looking out for the bigger buoys. So these bigger boats are fishing 10 traps between two, two buoys. You don't wanna set over top of people, you wanna watch out for the buoys. Everybody wants to set from north to south, up and down the whole coastline. So you don't wanna set from east to west, you wanna set up and down the coast. All right, so pretty much saying, well, you're setting up in a vertical line instead of, instead of horizontal. And that's yours? No, but that's what a high, a bigger buoy looks like with 10 traps. 10 traps? 10, or 10 buoys. 10, 10 traps. Is that 10 what traps do you call a 10, a 10 trap trawl? Yep. So it's a huge, huge thing up here. It's lobstering, commercial lobstering, and then also just recreational. They have so many lobsters up here. And everybody knows the controversy between Maine lobster and Florida lobster. Which one's better? I don't know. It's both lobster. I've had it both ways. It's both really good. It just it depends on the person really that's all i can say for me i'm gonna say spiny lobster just because florida lobster because from florida and i can't can't disown florida like that but like i said it's a huge huge thing up here everybody's lobstering there's traps literally look at this up and down up and down the shoreline there's a trap there another one behind that there 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 all the way up the shoreline. Air traps. Literally everywhere. Oh. They're pulling the traps up from 60 feet right now and they're super heavy so 
This hauler comes in clutch. If you don't have one, you'd break your back. Looks like cup. Looks like keeper. So are the color of their claws different when they're male or not? No, just the tail. Whoa! That's yeah. keeper. That's keeper. See, no, once again, no V's. No, I hold right here. Grab him like this. Crosses his claws. Oh, Can you see that? Yeah, he's already putting him in an arm bar. Yeah. Buddy, not a keeper. No. Oh. Borderline ass. Pete. Pete, that's so borderline. That's a keeper all day. Is he? Yeah, all day. I'd fight that one in court. I'd fight that one in court. What are you doing? Ready? Grab the band, open it up. Again. Well, Lewis, you want to do it? Uh, I'd rather just watch. <laughs> Where's your bait? Now? I'm enjoying just watching. Where's your little bait? This so they're like I said, they're filling up the traps again with some of the. They have frozen pogies and fillet the uh, carcass. Had a carcasses from yesterday's video. If you guys haven't seen that, I'll have it popping up right here. Go ahead and check that out. A lot of different stuff here in New Hampshire. And I was mistaken earlier when I said we're just doing it for fun. The boys are doing it commercially and they're going to sell these lobsters. So this is their first time doing it, but they didn't set too many, too many trawls. Only th you said only four, right? Three? Three. Three trawls. It's not a lot of traps at all. Sometimes boats out here are setting hundreds. Or how many trawls are you guys? Because Peter used to do it. I have a 600 trap lobster license. My dad has an 800. Most people have 600s, 1200s. Holy smokes, that's crazy. So Frankie and Eli are selling these lobster to Peter's dad who owns a restaurant in Rye, New Hampshire called Petey's. Really, really good. We went and ate there the first day and we're gonna eat there again today. We're gonna eat some lobster, but yeah. It's kind of cool how it goes in full circle. Get up on him. All right, the boys invited me out here. They're going to work. All I'm doing is just filming them. If you guys like the video so far, like I said, drop a like on it. And for all the information that they're giving, because I don't know anything about this. Use code Adam20 for uh... just to buy lobster. <laughs> What what's the most what's the most lobster you've seen in a trap? At least keepers. Uh, I have some photos on my phone. Probably the most I've ever seen in one trap is probably like doesn't sound like a lot, but probably like ten or twelve, thirteen. Yeah, keepers. which is a lot. Yeah, that's that's a lot of keepers out of one trap. That looks like. But keeper. it's not like that all the time. I've only seen that maybe two times in my life. But what's the average trap you're pulling on keepers? Probably you're hoping for like one or two, you know. Especially when you're trawl, you have trawls like this. You want to get it like. A Pound of traps good. Yeah. You're getting a lot of shorts always? Um, yeah, usually. Well, sometimes these traps have a little bit of a smaller vent in them. Um, this is the vent right here. It's right here. Oh, yeah. Explain me how the trap works. So they'll come in here, eat the bait. Some other lobsters will, like, scare them and spook them and fall down in here. Those smaller lobsters, the little babies and stuff, will come right out these vents. This one here. This one here, and this is a crab vent on the top. Hmm. By law, you're supposed to have two vents and a crab vent. So, why are the little ones still in there? The, what? Why are the little ones still in there? Those are too big to get out yeah, of. Yeah, they're just a little too big. They're oh, borderlines. Okay. You can get a little bit bigger of a vent, and so when you haul them, it's just. It's just keepers? Picks. Yeah. But then it's risky? Yeah. Some risky biz. 
couple. Egger, but it's not notched. The gauge has this little V on the end of it for V-notching a lobster. You come here, push it down, lift up, V-notch. That one was a little rowdy on it, but Perfect. now no one can keep that lobster. All right, this is the last trap, just a single. All right, that is it. They pulled the three trawls, three four trap trawls, and then one single trap. How many keepers should we get? I'm not sure. Like six or seven. Like six or seven. We were literally out here for 30 minutes. Nothing special, but it was a cool experience. If you guys liked the video, go ahead and drop a like on it. Also, I wanna say thank you to Eli, Frankie, and Peter for having me out on this trip and taking me lobster with them, and Peter taking me fishing the whole week. No problem, Luce. So, holy smokes, that is all we got for you guys. We are gonna go back to the dock now and then go to his dad's restaurant and I'm gonna order lobster. It's gotta do a catch, clean, cook with it. I don't know if we're gonna be doing any cleaning, but we are gonna be doing some cooking. So we'll see you at the dock. Look at his tail, he looks like a Sea monster. Doesn't it doesn't look like a micro sea monster yeah, or something? Look at that tail on it. It looks thin. Yeah, like this. It looks, it looks like lock lock nose chicken Nantucket. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's it. Frankie's just loading them up and then there's dino and they're gonna take them to the restaurant. Beauty. We just got to the restaurant after lobstering and Frank and Eli sold the fish to Peter's dad's restaurant. We were sitting out back right now. We're just hanging out. The restaurant's over there. They had like five and a half, six pounds of lobster. It's like five to seven dollars a pound right now. So not a whole lot of money for that trip, but they just took me out because I want to see the experience and share it with you guys. So Peter's getting a meat call. Huge thank you to Frankie and Eli for taking me out today. They have a charter business as well, Ledge Runner. What is it? Plug it. Ledge Runner Charters. I have a link down below to that. And then also Peter took me out the whole week. Been super nice, hospitality with his whole family. He's been awesome. Let me stay at his house, took me out every day. So big thank you to Peter for that. I appreciate it, dude. He also has a charter business. You guys have heard me plug it multiple times. Link down below to that too, harvesterfishingcharters.com. Book a charter with any of these guys. They all kill it out here and they're all young and they're hungry. These boys want to work.